Hi there, today we are going to talk about your pre-listing package, which is different than a listing package or a listing presentation. So what I wanna go over today is how you educate your seller. A lot of sellers in today's market, you know, they, they do their research, they talk to other agents, they get a lot of information, and then they don't know how to apply it to find the best agent for them. So what we want to do is always wow them with information in, in a way that they can use it and apply it as they get ready to go into um, choosing a realtor, as well as once they have you know, gone into that part where you now have the listing agreement, but we have things to do before we go live on the MLS. So today's blog is about how to get your sellers on board with you on what they need to do and what they need to focus on before they actually go live on the market. And these are great tips. I mean, these may be things you already know, but hopefully you'll get something out of it. Maybe there's something in here you've never heard of. Maybe you have a tip that you'd like to share with us. And if so, I'd love for you to make a comment below. And don't forget, at the as you watch this video, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you like the content that we are delivering to you, I would love for you to subscribe so you'll be the very first to know when we have new videos going up. So you can also go over to kimhughes.com and go to our blog and you can get the transcript from this blog. You can get additional information. If I offer any um, free downloads, swipe files, anything like that, you can also get them from the blog. So in today's market, what you want to do is to really stand out above everybody else in your market. I don't care if you're up against the number one agent in the market if you're not already number one. So what I want you to do is to think about how you are wowed by a, by a business or by customer service or what is it that really impresses you when you do business with someone. And then try to look at that and say, how can I use that in my business? That's number one key. You know, it's, it's always looking at how you can be different how you can improve your customer service, how you can improve everything in your business so that you can always be the agent that the, that the home sellers you know, think about when they get ready to, buy, uh, to list their home. So what we want to do is, of course, you know, the way I look at it with an agent is when you have a seller, a potential seller call you and say, hey, I'd love to set up a time that we can meet so that we can kind of go over what I need to do to sell my house. What's that, you know, what does that look like? Well, from that moment that you've taken that appointment to the day of the appointment, you need to be giving them some information to prepare for that appointment, right? You don't want to go in there and have them kind of look at you and not understand what you have to say. So what I want you to do is to create a package that you can email them, maybe drop off at their house. Um, you know, doesn't mean that you're gonna drop it off that you have to stay, but it's something that you give them prior to the listing appointment. And this could be things that they need to think about, you know, how to showcase their home. Um, you know, what do they think their home is worth? What is it they love about their neighborhood? You know, some, of, some agents feel that this is something that um, they would do after they get the listing. But these are things that I think that if you go in there with this information, nobody else is asking them. So if that seller is looking at this and going, wow, they're asking me all this before they even I get before they even get here, how are they going to, you know, top this when they do get here? Okay? So there's that anticipation of how you're going to work with them, et cetera, once you get there. Okay? Now, I'm not saying give it all away, but I am saying maybe give them an article on how to showcase their home, how to maybe give them a checklist, you know, of things that they should be looking at in the home that when you get there, that's something that maybe, you know, we will walk, when we do a walkthrough um, to evaluate the home, then these are things that they should be probably looking at before you even get there. You know, clean the room up, dust it, you know, um, declutter it get the garage straightened up, um, put all the laundry away, um, make sure your dogs are you know, in a, in a safe spot. So these are some things that we have found that works really well. And so, and if, are their kids gonna be available when you get there? If the kids are gonna be there, 
then have something for them to do, a coloring book or, you know, um, depending on their age, of course. And then, um, you know, that way when you're talking to the parents, they're being distracted. You don't have to take a coloring book, take a puzzle. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get puzzles, you can get games, you can get um, a bag full of toys that are, um, you know, all different types of animals. You know, I mean, it, you can bring them Play-Doh, you know, or um, that silly putty. Um, you know, there's just all kinds of stuff. So go to the dollar store, have fun in the children's department and find something that you can probably keep in your car and kind of have a multitude of so that when you do have buyers or sellers with kids, you have something to entertain them with. You'd be surprised at how many teenagers want to play with Play-Doh. So that's one way to get there, to be able to have them prepare for you to arrive. Um, then when you do get there, I mean, and then, you know, of course we want them to make sure that they have the yard cleaned up, the pool is clean, um, you know, anything that needs to be picked up around the house, you know, um, you want, you're going to be looking at stuff. You're going to be looking at their oven, their dishwasher, their refrigerator, you know, their washer, their dryer, you know, what, what stays, what goes, etc. So you want to evaluate what it looks like and say, okay, well, I'm going to open your refrigerator. So let's make sure that it's all nice and clean and organized so that when the buyer comes in and they open it, they see that, oh, it's a well taken care of refrigerator, you know? So these are the things that you'll look at. Then, you know, and, and if you give them a checklist and they can just print it off and just check it off as they go along, that will save them. Then you might also say, you know, when I come for the listing appointment, this is what we will sit down and discuss. We're going to discuss your home, the condition of the home. If you've had any repairs done to the home, we need to know that. Um, if you have um, any concerns about the home, you know, if, if somebody's concerned about a room in the home because you know, it's more of a, of a, um, maybe a home office and you've taken a bedroom and you've turned it into a home office. Well, as an agent, what are you going to do? Are you going to say, turn it back into a bedroom for the time being? What, you know, what are you going to do with that? So these are the things that your seller can do to bring up the questions to ask you when you arrive on the appointment at the appointment. Then I want you to, um, you know, have them, you know, hey, go ahead and pull your electricity, all of your utility bills. Let's look at the highest and the lowest while I'm there. Um, you know, anything that they can offer you, the floor plans, the survey, because these are things that are very important so that when you do list the property, then you don't have to wait to get them. And then the, the sellers are going, gosh, I wish you had asked me that two weeks ago. So let's prepare the seller just like you would a buyer. You don't work with a buyer unless they're pre-qualified, right? Um, so let's prepare the seller and get everything that you need at the listing appointment so that when you sit down at the listing appointment, you can ask those right questions and not just be excited about having the listing appointment, but go in and show them that you know what you're doing. When you make that listing appointment and you send them the listing, the pre-listing package, so, you know, of course, we're going to look at timelines. You know, if they say, well, come tonight at 7 o'clock, of course, you're not going to be able to do that. But if you have a few days to prepare for the appointment, then that's when you send this. And then you would ask them, I'm going to send this to you, and then I'll call you a day before to make sure that, you know, you got it. If you didn't get it, you know, what we need to do. Then you follow up, make sure they got it. Then the day before the appointment, then you call them or email them and just say, you know, we're confirming our appointment for tomorrow. Want to make sure that, you know, you've done everything on your checklist so that when we sit down, we can just dive in and start talking about how we're going to list your property, the market value, um, all the comps, all the details that need to be done to make sure that we get the most for your property. And when you walk into that listing appointment, they're going to hand all that to you. And then you're going to sit there and now you are going to be excited because they did their homework and two you're not this is not stuff you're going to have to ask for later right so being in the pre-listing phase is very very important because when you leave that listing and you get that listing then you may see that repairs need to be made they may need to do some you know curb appeal they may need to do some extra cleaning on something but they've done a lot of the preliminary work prior to the listing so I hope this has made sense to you and I hope that it, it's given you a lot to think about and how to prepare for that. Um, if you don't have a pre-listing presentation or a pre-listing package, which is the same thing, um, let us know. We'll be happy to create one for you. We do these all the time for our agents and they are very beneficial. 
So make sure you reach out, let us know what your needs are, and we can quote you a price on one. And then if you have one, great, tweak it, get it ready, and use it, okay? Make sure you use it. And another little tip is if when you do have your pre-listing, go ahead and put it on your website, but not where everybody can see it. It's gotta be a hidden link so that when you send them an email saying, you know, thank you for scheduling your appointment, um, please click on the bottom link, you'll be taken to my pre-listing package, make sure you print it out, et cetera, et cetera. They can go straight to your website. While they're there printing that out, they're gonna be checking you out on your website. And that's gonna be even more impressive if you have a good website. So multiple things can happen here before you even get to the listing. So let's make sure that you're prepared and that the seller is prepared, okay? Thank you so much for joining us, and if you would like a transcript of this, of this video, you can always go to KimHughes.com. And again, if you like the content that we're delivering, I would appreciate if you'd give me a thumbs up. And also remember, you can subscribe and be one of the first to know when I do post a new video. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye.